since 1946, right after the war, I went to barber school in 46 and started to cut and hire in 46 in Belmont. And I was born and raised here in Belmont. And I'm still here. <laughs> I retired, I, I had the building I was in closed and I've been out for about eight or nine months. And he's been my blessing, you know, I, I uh, just, I'm just happy that he can be here and I love watching him work, I mean he just does a great haircut. I just, she called me and I come because I, I, I wasn't ready to retire when I had to leave the other shop. I mean, it's just my life. I've always done it. I did it when I was in the Navy and I came out and I was doing it and I'm still doing it today. And I'm all right. I'm steady. No difference. My friends and meeting more and talking to them. And we have a big time talking <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but we really, do, we really do enjoy each other. I love when someone sits in his chair and says, he gave me my first haircut and they're 66, 70 years old and it's just like, whoa, you know? <laughs> I've been, I've got, uh, I've got several that's 96 year old and they hadn't anybody cut the hair at me since I started and they're still living. But uh, a couple of them's in bad, bad health and I go to the house and cut their hair because they can't get out and they're in the wheelchair. Some of them's in the rest homes. I go to the rest home and cut the hair. I cut the hair at the house and visit them and it's just like being in the barber shop when I'm down there it's still cutting. I'm not ready. I mean as long as I can do it, as long as my friends come, I'm gonna do it. One day I'll have to quit, but not today. I hope today's not over, but I'll be here waiting. <laughs> <laughs>